How's it going, YouTube? Welcome to the Cosmic Ray channel. I'm your host, Cosmic Ray. Now, I'm having a little bit of more light come through. Um, you know, let me kind of switch this up. My apologies, and it's kind of slightly unprofessional because I should everything all set up and ready. Okay, so normally I don't use those bigger candles actually you know I kind of like how it was set just before um, anyways I usually use uh, smaller candles and um, those other candles I like to use for something else um, yes as you can kind of see that one's already going through um, let me just kind of fix this just a little bit um, what I wanted to say is that whew, okay first of all thank you spirit guides thank you for this moment of life thank you this higher consciousness, whatever this is. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. This makes me feel wonderful in this life. Um, let me move this back. This kind of helped get a little bit more light in the room. All right, so just in case you see something above my head. Yeah, that's where that light is. You know, hopefully you can't really kind of get into three different ways here. And um, anyways, we'll see if the other one is starting to flicker. I usually keep it like this um, because I was going to just have one candle and to let you know spirit guides sometimes they like to mess with you and sometimes they're teaching you a lesson sometimes this is one of those things where they don't always want you to be highly dependent on them okay they don't always want that to happen they want you to know that this is something you can do you know without them and without their you know being and that the guidance that you're using, you're using and following what they're, what they're helping you with. And I've had it where I've gotten new candles and I actually had candles already all set for, for other things. Um, it's just, <laughs> let's just say I, I've tried many times to have had buy new candles and try to set up everything all nice and make everything cool. And then wah, wah, things don't happen right because I've already had candles I knew I could keep using to the very end. And my spirit guides are like, what are you doing? Like, you're supposed to be saving money. You're supposed to be doing this. Like, you asked for this, but yet you think it's okay to piss things away, if you will. And I had it where, you know, I was like, okay, all right, well, let me trust. So I took out the new candles, what I had before in the past, and I put down the old ones that I felt that they were pretty much done. And what, lo and behold, what happens, things work. And it was kind of teaching me a lesson. Now... I think I really should go back into the one candle, which I know is going to be darker. Um, it's just, I feel this is one of those things that yeah, I'm also still being taught like lessons right now. So let me, let me see here. Um, like I said, I use certain candles for certain things and in, in divination, you probably should keep it the same. And I think that's something that should be you know reflected that you should always try to keep it you know, whatever you have of the same thing. And right now, since this candle is in my hand, and of course I'm talking, I am like shaking, you know, I don't want you guys to feel like, oh, this is my candle that love, magic divination, where this candle shakes or something, and that that's my, my truths, if you will. Um, right? <laughs> um, so it'd be hard to keep my hand still. And if I would have just did it like this, you know, I don't know if, that's, if that would work also. Anyways, um, I felt like I was guided regarding... Um, regarding to have like our spirit guides and how they may play in your favor at times. You know, there's times where you can, you know, when you start channeling or start to understand the synchronicities, you start following along the path of what's been laid out, you know, before you. And if you still keep continuing on this, sometimes this leads you to things that you probably wouldn't want to do or may sound, sound very funny. Like for you to get out of the car during the rain and like waving to someone or get out of the car and see the sunlight shine on someone and give them a hug or um, or not saying that you're very fickle with money, but you go to some random stranger that may look like they need it more than you and you give them like a 20. And even though 20 bucks could really, you could really use it, but you know that you have just enough money to hold you over and that, that 20 could definitely help someone else. Now, whatever they use it for, that's, you know, that's on them, right? Um, however, that could be pointed out as in some spirit guide on their side went into you to help 
back to them. That's how sometimes the universe works. Sometimes we, there's others that feel that we're just the avatars. We're just the physical representation and our higher selves or the consciousness or soul or whatever you want to call it is what actually drives us, right? Like you're the person in the video game, you know, like you can control them in a sense. And we have our mind, we have our brain, we have hard, you know, we're, it's like our hard drive that has information to how to do certain things. You know, it's like being a hacker, right? Hacker in a computer system. Is it your computer that you're hacking? No, it's someone else's. Right? You're able to take control of their computer. It's kind of like in a sense that way. I know it's not literally, but and you gotta you can you can fill it in. But it's like that. You know, you're like it's like you know, someone's hacking you to do certain things, right? And with that being said, you know, there are other things that you know they do. There are other little points some people say, you know, it's a sign of your angels, you may see a penny with the heads up, or you may see a white feather. Um those are also, you know, true. They're also like different things that you would see certain animals, certain things, certain aspects are hitting you. Like certain times you may see or hear different names and the same name coming over and over and over. And you hear it, you think it's so common that you don't even think it's about any guides or think about anything else. And you start hearing a certain name over and over and over again. I, oh man, I don't want to cry, but I hear this one person's name over and over again. And I know when he's out there listening, you know, I got much love for him. And uh, anyways, uh, there are other things that will hit you and you'll start to know that you'll get these nudges. And if you're someone as myself, you're sensitive to these things, you'll start to, you're drifted off into space, right? You, you, you space out. You know, some would say you kind of just stare, you're just like staring off, right? Like just watch, I'm just staring, right? You're staring off into the distance and you know, whatever it is. And you're not necessarily staring at, say, I don't know, the TV or the wall or whatever you're, you happen to look at. You're just, you know, you're just looking. And and all of a sudden, like, you start to see something, you're like, oh, you know, or you start feel, getting that feeling. And once you're like, it's almost meditative almost. And all of a sudden, like, you feel something behind you and you're like, what was that, you know? It's kind of like that, you know, with that feeling, you don't know how to describe it. You know, I guess some people may call it a spidey sense, whatever. Um, uh, whatever it is that you want to call it, there are different type of guiding, things guiding you. And you may even hear it slightly. You may start seeing things kind of what I call slightly invisible-ish. I know if you're like, oh, what's invisible? How can you see it? Because it's invisible. You know how like with TV, when they try to make you see something that's invisible, right? You know, they actually show you if it's like someone in the snow, you see the footsteps, right? Or if, um, uh, like I always say, I always go with the, the Predator slash um, Halo, you know, where you go into that cloaking invisible mode where you can, you're can you invisible, but you can still see the outline. That's why I dub the outline, you know, vibrational outline, you know, people, or I guess call them people because they got legs and arms and a head. Can't really say. I know for sure what they look like, at least they may not be ready for me to look at, or I maybe subconsciously I'm not ready to, to fully see them, but I know they're there. And it's funny because as I'm saying this, I remember watching something that was, was on Netflix um, that had to do with these outline type of beings, they're like these aliens. And for whatever reason, you know, it's like a space type movie where, you know, they're on earth and you can't see them. And the, um, I forgot what it was called. Anyways, um, it's not important, but what is important is that for some of us, they're there and they've always been there. It's just you understanding that thought. Now, I know I don't want to get too far away from the spirit guides into knowing what's there and sometimes like to mess with us, but this is all kind of interprets everything. It's all encompasses everything. And honestly, the ent entities, whatever you want to call it, 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 there's like, why is it when you go into a spiritual store, you know, I'm talking about the crystal stores. That's the easiest way I can explain it or the, the spirituality stores, you know, and you get that feeling already. Sometimes people feel that same thing when they're in like a spa kind of thing, you know, like a meditative type of spa and, you know, they got that, you know, Himalayan salt lamp or one of these or something. And there's like a lot of them and you kind of just feel something, right? Well, that's part of that vibration is that setting, that mood setting. And it's the same thing. You know, if you use your peripheral vision to see something 
and you truly to learn what that is. I felt like I had these little things in my life that kind of just taught me ever since I was little to, to know what these are. And I didn't realize that that's what I was, every little moment that happened to me was so I could understand what these things were and to understand what other things were. You know, I had people, had little subtle hints of like my brother, like try and teach me like other things with learning about your peripheral vision and tell me how important it was. He taught me by like being behind me and trying to slap me from the side of my head. And I'm like, I had to block it every time. And not to like look with my eyes or turn my head, but to look straight and to know that it was coming. That was the type of like things that I had to learn. I was wondering why did I have to learn that? Was it just for self-defense? Was it for other things? Like, is it just something stupid that we were doing? No, but no, the other little things I realized as a youth, I was being taught to help like my my growth right now and then being able to utilize that so with that being said you know with the spirit guides you know and these entities and whatever it is like they try to give you hints they it's like they almost want you to know but don't want you to fully fully know <laughs> um at least uh there, there's hints that they that people or i'm sorry the things that happen that they want us to know that they're here and I feel like this is starting to come in movies and start to come into different things in our life of every day to kind of see it as if it's like fictitious, but just to give us little hints, just a little breadcrumbs, just a little bit. And I know I've done a video on that. Um, it's, it's just, it's kind of just, like I said, encompasses all this. So if you were to, you know, kind of not drift off, but just kind of just maybe stare at something else. Just like how back in the day, they used to have those big, huge 3D posters in the mall that sit, you know, that make you to kind of look at this and you're like, oh, it's a skull or it's a train. And then you have one of those friends like, I don't see anything. And they're like, oh, you have to put your nose up to it and then move slowly back and you can see it. It's like looking at that. It's like, why would you, how can you look at that when all you see is like a car or lights or people walking, raining, whatever, you know, whatever you're looking at, you know? crime, you know, people are homeless or, or whatever it is on the street, you know, it's all you see, you know, and you don't, you're not looking for that, right? So that's why it's slightly invisible. You're not really looking for the stuff, you know, but now you will. And so you kind of somewhat drift off in a sense. You, you know, you focus on something else, but then with your peripheral vision, you start to see it. Now, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I just have to say it, so my apologies, I say it all the time, but just, if you just saw this video, I want you to be able to know that I know this too. There are certain things called mitral floaters. I'm not talking about floaters, okay? If you have eye problems or eye disorders, you know, that's something for you to obviously check out. So if you start like seeing, you know, SHIT, then yes, you should probably get your eyes checked. But I, for what you know, I am a healthy individual. So just saying, you know, with my eyes, you know, I, I know what floaters are, okay? So these aren't the floaters, just, like, you know, just can tell, I'm not talking about that. Um, but what I'm talking about is when you start to like slowly, it's like sometimes when I tell you in my video, sometimes you see like these little like waves, you start to see it. And if you start to focus, slowly focus, you will start seeing waves like coming out. You start seeing things off of light, vibrations off of things, off of people, off of just random things that you wouldn't think be vibrating, but yet everything does have its own vibration. Um, anyways, without saying that, you know, when you're kind of just looking you know, in the distance, like I said, it's between you and whatever it is, like the wall or whatever it is you're looking at. Obviously, it's hard not to focus on whatever that specific object that's right in your plain sight, but it's like the eyes to whatever that plain sight right in the middle, you know, and you're just kind of just drifting. And then all of a sudden you see with your peripheral vision, like right here, you're like, you see something like, and of course you're thinking, oh, it was nothing. And cause you can't look and be like, oh, I knew it, it was something. Cause without, you know, unfortunately we're stuck on the touch, taste, see, smell and hear aspect, you know, of life, you know? So we can only trust, you know, what, what we can, you know, see for our eyes. But I swear I need to talk about this right now. You know how people say seeing is believing. It's because of that. It's because of what we can touch, taste, see, smell, and hear the five senses. You only could touch, you only could trust your five senses. You only can know, make sense of things, right? You can only, you know, sense what's going on. You can only trust your senses. When it comes to this thing, it's more like believing is seeing when it comes to other stuff of, of life, of, of vibrations, or with other you know, uh, spiritual people talk about, you know, when it comes to understanding this matrix or understanding some people you call a vortex or you can call vibrations or wh whatever you, whatever you just want to call it, you know, th that that's coming towards you or like the positive things are coming, you know, in this little like circle, 
Um, and you know, it's one of those things where you, when you get this full understanding, you know, it's a knowing and when you know it, it's not like a game anymore. You know, once you've already gone through it, there's no going back. And it's one of those things where you, when you start to kind of know it's through your peripheral vision, remember it's not like dead straight on. Sometimes it can be if they want you to know. But like I said, when you start following these breadcrumbs, it slowly starts happening and you start to kind of pay attention and, you're, and you start to kind of just like, you know, you could be watching TV and they could literally be behind you, like going, <laughs> you can't see anything, right? Um, they're not doing that, but I'm just trying to give you an idea. Like, you know, you don't know unless someone's recording you and you're seeing stuff happen and you might realize like, oh man, I don't want to be recorded because I'm afraid to see what I look like or what happens at night when I'm asleep and this or something dancing around me. Like, what is it? Right. Um, you know, so in a sense, you get this thing of where like, okay, I, I start to start noticing things. I start to know that there are things that just will you're like, huh? And I even say, I see you. I see you're there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for letting me know that you're there. You know, I trust you and I believe you're, you're there as you are with me. You know, thank you for showing yourself. Thank you. Oh, I'm getting chills. Thank you so much. It's like that. You know, it, it's that moment where you're like, yes, all this stuff is real. I'm starting to understand this universe. And you start, like I said, it's annoying. And unfortunately, we have to see to believe. But once you start to understand this, not think about it, not believing or feel like it, but knowing, you know this, right? You start to see it a little bit. You start seeing those vibrations. You start seeing like something you're like, what was that? Like, uh, that was kind of weird. Like, I, did I just thought what I saw? No, you did. You just can't rewind it. You can't look at it dead on because you're not going to be able to see it unless they're ready for you or however you, however you want to interpret that. Okay. And just know that you're already, if you're even seeing that or even having the, the thought that you're seeing these now, keep in mind, I don't want to get into that point where like people are delusional and people are got a mental disorder and you're just like creating like some random stuff. Of course, there's some slight logic into it. And I always say in, in videos, you know, when it comes to spirituality, you have to kind of almost kick logic out the door. But there is some slight logic to it, like I said, with the peripheral. Like they want, it's the only way to kind of see with the light, how it reflects into your eyes and to for you to go back into the prism. Because I've heard many things, you know, with like your eyes, technically we're seeing upside down, but the way this looks, everything is like right side up. And I've heard, oh, well, the sky is really actually green and not blue, but it's the way our light hits the eyes and is, interprets it as blue and it's supposed to be green. And like, I, you know, all I know is what I see. It looks like blue it looks like where everything is normal like you know right side up like i don't see anything's upside down or i can't imagine that being upside down or whatever the case right because you can only see is believing right um but if you actually believe more things you know just like when i said in the other videos about having your guardian your, your guarding light you know to help protect you you know it's kind of like that when you start you you start focusing on that first you have the belief and then you have the knowing that it works Right. And then it starts to even manifest more and it works out for you. Same thing with this, you know, it's like when you start to slowly start seeing a little bit of them, you know, you start to kind of focus, you start to realize, okay, you can kind of see it. it's trippy at first, right? You think that you're on something, but you're not obviously if you're sober like myself and you start seeing it you're like, man, maybe I should not be sober anymore. <laughs> um, but it's okay though. This is one of those things where like, you know, this is cool. It just makes me feel a part of something even more than, than what it already is. It makes me have a better understanding of this life of studying instead of it being like some dumb reality or something, you know, not worth it. You start to realize, okay, all right, maybe some of the things of our ancestors, I can understand what they saw or maybe why they had these beliefs or I guess in their way, understanding or knowings. And there were, you know, back in the day of like all these gods, plural, and that they believed in or they understood as, you know, or other fairies or whatever magical beings, uh, you know, some say they, they've seen, um, you know, so that's, hey, you know, the, I swear one day, I, I you know, what, I, I don't want to say it. I, I don't want to say it because I know it's going to sound funny. So, um, but yeah, I, I have seen some, some one time, some crazy thing and another time something else, but. Sorry, another another time, right? 
So I'm going to keep this uh, up to here. I just want to say thank you all for listening. And this is, you know, one of these things I just wanted to talk about with our spirit guides. Sometimes, you know, they do this just to to show us that they're here. Sometimes they do mess with us. I'm not saying that these are like those ghosts or anything you see on YouTube or anything that's like, they start moving things on purpose and you know, you don't want to dwell too much into that unless you're ready. But just for this, our spirit guides wouldn't do anything wrong to us. If it's, you know, they wouldn't do anything horrible. They wouldn't make us purposely go crazy. That's not their intent. So obviously if it's something that feels that way, that's not your spirit guides, that's something else. Invoking other things, I just got to say this. Oh, sorry. But, you don't want to invoke anything negative. You know, once you start getting into this understanding, you may have an understanding of other things. Please don't follow that path unless you're ready to follow that path. I'm not saying you can't follow that path or not to. Just don't do it unless you're ready because your mind may be more powerful than you think and you may be diving into something else, which is, you know, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying, oh, don't do that because you may be someone that's supposed to be doing that. I don't know. You know, you can't have dark without the light, light without the dark. You know, that's not saying it has to be anything bad, but just diving a little bit into those with some feels of darker energy, not necessarily saying evil you know, energy, but just darker side. Um, you know, I've been guided to to learn about that because as a what I feel like an urban shaman, I should know my I don't want to say my adversaries, but I should know a little bit about that to dive into so that I know how to repel and to transmute some of those energies into positive ways and at least to help them if they needed that help um, and I felt you know in past lives that's something that I was I was into something that I knew that I was about something that was in my bloodline about those dark energies too um, it's just I know right now I've been focusing on the light I've been focusing on the more positive things of life and as a you know I if you want to call it self-proclaimed you know, urban shaman. I know I was guided. I know this was something that was given to me, you know, uh, by Gaia and also by walking on. So this is something where I, I knew this was for me and as a Hyokan empath as well. I, I, like I know, and to all the other star seeds out there, many blessings for you. Thank you to the angels. You know who you are. I don't need to say anything, you know, much love for you as as I know you're radiating, radiating that back to me, like mine's. Um, but thank you. And just know that your spirit guides only want the positive things for you, nothing negative. So if you feel something negative, that is not your spirit guides. You ask it to leave, and then you tell it to leave with confidence. Not like you're being a D-I-C-K, but just you tell them that this is not for you. And that this is something that they need to just get out the door. And then you know, if that's happening without you asking it, and if you're diving into that, that's on you. But if it's something where you didn't ask for it, change your life conditions. Change something else that your aspect of life. Because when you, I have a, I know this is going to be bad to say, but I'm just going to, I feel like I have to say this. Like, is, this is not like an ego thing. I feel like I'm guided to say this. You have to realize that when it comes to these kinds of things, um, it, if someone's full of joy, and and this is not like a devil coming in and wants to make a representation in front of everyone knowing that it's there and they're going to do something horrible to a great person just to let you know that they're there in your existence. It's not something like that. If you didn't ask for something like this to happen, your life condition in itself is already probably something in you know the negative aspect of life already. And you need to, uh, in a sense, well, if you want to, um, you know, raise your vibration, raise the positivity of your life, shine that light even brighter inside you because they don't want anything that's a pureness. They don't want anything that's confident of wanting to bring joy to someone. You know, if you, and, and this has happened to me, so I just wanted to let you know. And I know you see movies, you're like, well, why does this demon come into this nun? Or why does this happen? Okay, it's TV, guys. You know, there are certain things they're trying to let you know. You know, don't, don't let those dark things come to you. And don't, like, you know, bring that in. Don't do other things. And you're probably saying, well, why do people get, good people get possessed? Okay, look, stop watching these movies, okay? There are certain things that are truth and certain things that are not, okay? And there are certain things that, that happen to what we perceive as good people, but everyone has this like journey.
okay? Everyone is going through it, whatever it is. There are certain, um, if you believe in this stuff, um, spiritual contracts, there are certain things that happen that we want as a personal experience. I can't say what someone's experience is and neither can you, only they know that. Now, obviously no one wants something bad happen to them on the normal like aspect of logical side of life, okay? No one wants that. So just letting you know, just don't dive into it unless you want, unless you're doing that on purpose. They don't want something to take over something beautiful unless you want that experience to happen. So don't let that negative entity or anything try to think that they're your spirit guide when they are not, okay? There are many YouTube videos about that. This isn't one of them. <laughs> so spirit guides love you. They want the best for you. You invite those in when you start seeing these blessings that come in. And of course, they can't do anything. You can't just sit back. You can't just do this and kick your feet up. You cannot do that. That is not going to help. That is not going to help you whatsoever. Okay? It is not. You have to take some form of action. You have to do something more to, to get these, like I guess, benefits, if you will, of life. All right. It's a late night. Many blessings to you all, Cosmic Surfers and enjoy. Let me know any funny moments or anything that you're getting with your spirit guides. I had you know, others I probably should share, but you know, this video's already gone long enough. <laughs> All right, so, but if you want something on those, you know, let me know. I'm more than happy to tell, tell you, um, but I'm sure you've already know most of those experiences because I've shared those, most of those with you guys. So, take care, Cosmic Surfers. Or Yasumi Nasai. Good night.